Expectations are sky high for this fight. Will it live up to the hype? We're about to find out. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. About time to. Time for. Here comes Riddick Bowe, the big daddy, the 1988 Olympic silver medalist, a two-time heavyweight champion. And this bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Brooklyn, New York, here is the Olympic silver medalist and the two-time unified. So they stare into each other's eyes, one final. These athletes have promised us a war. Let's see if they deliver. And he misses with that jab. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Catch and shoot. The audience absolutely right on top of you in this very special environment here. You're feeling everything tonight. And you know what? When you're in a theater, you know you've got to perform. There's no point corners. There's no making up excuses because you're going to be so transparent and laid out there. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Perfect punch. There's a counter shot. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other. Because no one dare do anything out of turn. He fails to score with that left hook. Nice counter punch. Perfect counter shot. can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. That left counterpunch will score. And through the hook, didn't land. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Talk about Bo. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight. Oh, we've just taken a big breath, and here we go again. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. That counter shot lands. Spider told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. Sluggers are an absolute nightmare. They will stay in your face, not give you a breather, not step back when you think, all right, let's have a breather. They want to get stuck right in. And he misses with the left uppercut. Men step back for just a moment. Beautiful counter shot. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. Oh man, you've got swarm in your face. You've got to try and push him off, make him go into the rope. You've got to sometimes fight fire with fire. Put him on the blind side of the referee. Get him out. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap, just like a match made in heaven. Nice job landing that left counter punch. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Nice counter shot. Good counter punch. Still swinging with nothing left. what the judges' scorecards read. There are no losers in this one. On the right. That's 
talk about Bo. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? As long as they don't get complacent. There's the bell for round three. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Heavyweights decide to exchange bombs early or decide to box a little bit. Because that's all big, because they can push, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire because someone's going to get hurt and someone's going to react. Both men step back for just a moment. counter gotta let your hands go a little bit it's okay to be aggressive now in the early rounds of a fight you'll see two boxers feel each other out test each other's power and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands this is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented Counter scores. Good counter punching for both these fighters. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Let's talk about both. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. Dominance, without a doubt, made look so, so easy. Here we go to the fourth round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Back to life now, starting to land some punches. Nice counter. Punch, counter punch. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close round. And this with that jab. Good counter punching for both these athletes. Exchanges from both men in this round. Oh, and he caught him with an uppercut. So close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Got out of the way that right hook. Nice exchange here from both men. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Nice job landing with that right-hand counter. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Bo. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to There we go in round five. Who's going to land the first big shot? Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. How nervous 
worse would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this that can seriously hurt you? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Great counter right hand there. He misses with that jab. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Missed him with that uppercut. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. That left hand misses. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. That left counter was perfectly timed. Talk about both. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you-know-who. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight, because if they haven't, there's going to be... Here we go in the sixth round. Last round, complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. This is one of the best rounds I've seen this year. It doesn't always pay to be first. It pays to be last. Fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. What you've got to do, Toddy, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to. You just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope. You're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You just got to put in the guess. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He misses with that jab. Next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. I love the response, though. And there's the bell for round seven. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got to hold someone. He's got to bluff. Good counter right hand again. nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this that can seriously hurt you? Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Exchange punches. No power in those punches. Neither 
fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Beautiful counter punch. Call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. It's defend yourself at all times, but this fighter hasn't defended themselves at all. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Talk about Bo. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Round eight, and we're off again. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. see a jab from these two. You've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses. How do you deal with it? Let me explain to you about a fast fighter. A fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. They're confident. They know they just have to quick burst. Boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. Misses with that big right hand. These two are the perfect dance partner. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got. Oh my goodness. I admire these guys. This fighter realizes that defense is one of the scoring criteria in boxing. Seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, think of you just gotta be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fag and pickpocket them. Nice counter shot. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. about Bo. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. Dominance, without a doubt, make look so, so easy. See how much fatigue we see here in round nine. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. He'd like to see more jabs. Good left counter that lands. Timing beats speed. Speed beats power. Seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain. Counter 
punching. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Both men step back for just a moment. And he just missed with that left jab. Victory and one of the biggest surprises of the year. Accuracy, power, punch perfect. That was her.